So it's been a day of uh, empowerment, entrepreneurship, empowering the youth and what have you. And uh, today, the Ghana Climate Innovation Center has admitted its first group of entrepreneurs into its business incubator at the Shasta University College. The 11 entrepreneurs were selected from a total of 72 entrepreneurs from across Ghana and who applied to the GCIC's call for expressions of interest last year. And that inter alia, the business advisory and support facilities that the successful businesses will see from the center includes provision of office space and facilities, business skills training and monitoring. And I've got the executive director of the Ghana Climate Innovation Center herself in the studio. She'll be telling us more about what it entails. You're welcome on the pulse. Thank you very Ruka much. Sanusi. Um, we're, we're grateful to have you here. But tell us about this whole Climate Innovation Center. What is it about? Thank you, Aisha. The Ghana Climate Innovation Center is a pioneering green business incubator that seeks to work with entrepreneurs that are working on enterprises and ventures that um, support climate change adaptation and mitigation strategies. So we actually work in five sectors. We, have, we incubate businesses that work on solar power, energy efficiency, climate smart agriculture and you know uh, water purification and solid waste and domestic waste management um, sectors that are really pertinent um, to social development economic development and of course pertinent to um, climate change um, issues as well so enterprises and ventures entrepreneurs that work in all of those areas are very welcome to um, the innovation center but it's your incubators, how different is yours from, I mean, the normal incubators we know? Okay, that's an excellent question. Um, there are many incubators um, all over the world and many in incubators in Ghana. We believe that we're one of the first green economy incubators in Ghana. We're specific to enterprises that are, like I said, working to mitigate climate change mm -hmm. and with a focus on social, economic and also environmental impact. Mm -hmm. And I think what's also very interesting and pioneering about our incubator is that we're not only a grant making inc um, incubator we provide a whole range of um, services that really support the um, entrepreneurs we're interested in nurturing the whole leader a venture and a business leader we have a whole range of interventions and work streams that support on issues of business mentoring business advisory service, you know, we'll, we'll give our entrepreneurs access to technical experts, whether that's in Ghana, whether that's in West Africa, whether that's in Africa, whether that's in everywhere, anywhere else in the world, market access. So how do you even go to market, right? Um, in terms of when you're, at, you know, in the marketplace, distribution, whether that is locally or whether that is internationally, how, you know, how can we support you to, you know, to get your um, goods or services to the marketplace. Product development. A lot of entrepreneurs that will come through um, the center are actually developing clean technology. Mm. Some of them are manufacturing you know, um, solar panels, for instance, at, at, at a very basic level. So the issue is, you know, how do we help you to turn your idea into something that can go to the market? That will take you know, um, a, a period. So we help you with you know, developing prototypes and testing that. And We'll also, through one of our um, consortium partners, there's a focus on policy advocacy. So the issue is the enabling environment, the regulatory environment, is it actually enabling ventures and entrepreneurs? Mm. Or is it actually impeding, and, uh, impeding their, their growth and access to the marketplace? So, so we want to have workshops and seminars that look at policy that also advocates for policy change where needed or policy amendments or to introduce new policies mm. that will actually ensure that these businesses can thrive. Okay, so if I had an idea uh, mm. and I walked into your office, how mm. would you process me to be able to get the best out of me and then help me grow from mm. that point? First of all, Aisha, if you walk into our offices, will you be very welcome because we are especially interested in having women entrepreneurs um, join the center and to, and to be um, those that we, we incubate. Mm. There's an application process, actually. 
So if you go on our website, you have information about what we do, how we do it, and, and the, the intervals for selection. There are about three to four stages actually in the selection process. The first thing you do is you express interest, you fill in a particular form, which helps us to assess actually, are you actually in those five sectors, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And if your business is not in those five sectors, I'm afraid we really can't consider it. Okay. So then we move on to the next stage. We, we ask you for more, much more detailed information. The, second, the third phase is that we ask you for a one-to-one -one interview where you have to present your business case to us, demonstrate to us your unique value proposition and your unique, you know, what's unique ab about that business. And then if you're successful, you actually come in you know, to the center to be in incubated for a period that ranges between three to 12 months. Mm. Do you provide funding? Yes, we do. Um, there is a, a proof of concept grant that um, entrepreneurs can um, ab ab apply for, yes. So you, you've stated the five categories that yes. you work with. Yes. Uh, and I want to ask, who can uh, walk into your offices and seek for your services? Who? Absolutely anybody. All you have to do is to be an entrepreneur that works uh, or you can, you can even be at an idea stage, ideas generation, that works in those five sectors that I mentioned. All right. Many thanks for passing through. Let's see what will be coming up shortly when we take a break. Who wins the trophy? Is it Juventus or Real Madrid? And <laughs> we'll be seeing all of that shortly on The Pulse.